Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Bastine, and I have just been watching Josie Ghetto. Let me fix my camera a little bit. It's a little bit crooked. That better? Maybe. Anyway, uh, you need to go watch her video on uh, putting lip balm on. Sorry. Anyway, you need to go watch her video. It is, she saves packaging. And she was doing some uh, cute little birds out of, cut them out with her dye, her Tim Holtz dye. And then she uh, used packaging to um, cut them out with. And then she embossed them and painted them. And they are so cute for her Christmas tree. You might want to go over there and watch it. I'm going to pause just a minute. I have one more thing I need to get, or a couple of more things I need to get. Okay, I think I'm ready now. So, because I don't save packaging, per se, I don't save the plastic part. I save the cardboard, because I think I'll need the cardboard to cut some die cuts out of, or things like that. But I never save the plastic. I was at first, but then it got to be such pain to save, and when I moved, I think, I don't know, it could be up in a box upstairs in my other art room that I haven't gone through, I don't know. But I ordered some of this clear plastic, um, graphics clear craft plastic, <clears throat> a long time ago. Well, when I pulled it out of the sheet, it says clear, right? Well, when I pulled it out of the packaging, it looks like this. I said, that's not clear. That's not clear at all. Well, ding dong me, I figured out you have to peel this backing off. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half because it's 12 by 12. What we're going to do today is some more of our snowflakes. I'm going to cut out snowflakes and we are going to use alcohol inks on them on this clear plastic and paint them up for some Christmas tree decorations or whatever. So I'm going to get my cutting board out here and I'm going to cut this in half. And hopefully it'll cut through. I'm sure it will. I have my Carl cutting. And it doesn't want to stay too stable here. I should use my other big one, but I don't want to. So I'm not going to do too many of these because I don't know how they're going to turn out. But she was melting her plastic after she got it decorated and everything. She was melting it and molding her her birds and everything. But I don't want to do that with the snowflakes so much. But I do want to um, emboss them. So I have some embossing folders that I won a few years ago when I was doing cards. And I was doing scrapbook and this and that and the other yeah I was doing all that stuff and so I won some embossing folders Christmas ones that I've never used so I thought perhaps we could emboss on this plastic after we cut them out and see what happens with them now I haven't embossed for a long time so I don't even know if I remember how to emboss. But let's lay some of these out on our our plastic here so we don't I'm going to waste some of it but I don't want to put this whole thing through the do you know what I mean? I don't want to put this whole thing through I'm going to do some of the smaller ones. 
on this piece of plastic that is left over. So, anyway, I thought we could have fun today. We had fun the other yesterday doing the uh, soda cans. So today, I thought we could do the plastic. See how that comes out. And when it... Uh, heats up from the heat gun, it might melt. I mean, it might be able to form. You know what I'm saying. I'm not cutting this very straight. That's okay. Alright, now let's peel the coating off of this. Hopefully I can... It's not that easy to get a hold of. And it's on both sides. So, when I get this done, just like that, and when I get this done, I will be right back. I won't take up your time doing it, showing you, because I just showed you how that peels off. So, I'll be right back when this is all Okay, I got the paper off, peeled off of them. So now I'm going to cut them out. Oh my goodness. I must have put my dye away. I thought it was right down here. Oh, here it is. I got it. No problem. I found it. I didn't put it away because I knew I was going to be using it again. I put it back in the packaging, which is sometimes hard to get out open. I had an idea one time, somebody told me to cut the ends off of these to open them. And just put your um, dye inside of there without the ends being on there. Just getting the plates, the cutting plates. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to put one plastic over here. And it's big enough it's going to cut out part of that other one, but that's okay. Let's see if it's going to work. Oh, it's pretty stiff. See if I cut it out. No, it, well, sort of. I guess this is too thick of wrap of. That's what I was afraid of. And I'm trying to get it out as best I can. One that just did not cut out good. I will get the, my Zacto knife and trim that out. But let's try another one. Do 
because I think they'll be cute when they're, you know, if I can get them out. If I can get them to cut right. Actually, if I put it on that way, I'd almost get both of those. Not quite. I can't quite get the small one on there. But I'm going to run it through a couple of times. And one more time. And one more time. And let's see if this one worked out any better. If I run it through a couple of times, it seems to want to work better. There, that one came out. I'll set that one aside. And we'll do two more, and then I'm going to see if I can emboss them. This is fun watching me crackle, crackle. Alright, I'm going to set that to the side and cut the other one out. And then I can get rid of this die. One more time. Okay, now we'll get rid of this for a minute. We'll have to bring it back to emboss. See if I can get them out. I have to get my trusty little board here to trim some out with an exacto knife. That one came out really good. I don't remember how many times I went over it. I might not emboss on these. They're pretty. I don't think I'm going to. 
because I've got a lot of holes in them. I don't think I'm going to emboss on it. They're coming out pretty good. Better than I thought they would. When I first saw that first one, I was like, oh. And I don't save these little bits. I just have so many little bits and pieces, and I end up throwing them away. I never use them on anything. So... In the garbage it goes. Now this has some black on it from the dye. Maybe I can get this out. I did without having to use my X-Acto knife. Yay me. Alright. We have some snowflakes. I'm going to put this away. This glass down here. By the way, that was a glass cutting board from Target. And I'm going to take just a little bit of alcohol and see if I can clean these off a little bit. See, they got a little bit of black. I don't know if you can see that. They got just a titch of black on them, and I'm going to bring you up closer. And hopefully, I stay in frame today. I noticed that I wasn't in frame on that. I was clear up here when I was doing this video. I was clear over here, not in front of the, yeah. So, I'm going to run me, let's see, some alcohol here. And get me some cotton balls over here. But I had some on my desk, but I guess I don't. So I do now because I grabbed a bunch. And I have a little alcohol pumper. It's from the steel dye. this flat see this black stuff it's from the dye I don't know if using the alcohol is the best thing or not I think I'm going to put a white piece of paper under here so you guys can see the um, snowflakes. I have this stuff I ran off from my sewing machine, so... I'm going to stick 
my these under here. Okay, can we see them a little bit better? I'm going to take autofocus off. It is off. Take the saturation out. Hopefully it won't go wee or wee or wee. I'm going to bring you up just a little bit because I can't get you all in the frame. There we go. Oh, and a nice little doggy hair. Isn't that nice, a bell? And these are pieces of the dye, the steel dye. Because they, they were being pushed down into the dye. Oh, I got little pieces in here. It didn't come out. You didn't see them all. I think these will be fun to hang in a window, to decorate a window or hang on a Christmas tree. I don't do Christmas trees. Now one side of this is debossed and one side of it is a embossed. And this is the embossed side because the bubbles are bigger on that side. And I think I want to do the opposite side to color than the embossed side, so I'm going to turn them all over. And do them on the back side. Now, I have alcohol links. I have Adirondack. I have Wild Plum. I have Sunset Orange. Uh, watermelon, butterscotch, purple twilight, stream. I don't know if I'll use all these. I just pulled them out. Sunshine yellow, sailboat blue, and eggplant. And I have my homemade little thing I made, and I have some little felt pads. I cut it in half to fit on here. And I have some old, old, old alcohol blending solution that's turned color. But I think it'll still work. See, it's turned color. I haven't used it forever. It's brand new. Probably it has a seal on it still. Oh, it doesn't have a seal. Okay, so like I said, I've never used a blending solution. So I don't know what I'm doing here. So this is a beginning. Okay. Let's take a couple of these off. Let's just do one at a time. And get all this debris off of here. And let's just go for it. Let's put some purple twilight. And some blue. Let's do sailboat blue. And a little bit of blending solution. See what happens. Let's go for it. I think I want a little more uh, purple in it. I 
like I said, I've never used this blending solution before, so I don't know how it works. Oops, got some on me. That looks pretty. Now I think I want a little more blue in it. We're just going to go back and forth until we get what we want. Blending solution stinks. All right, I'm gonna see if I dry if I dry this up. What happens to the plastic? Because I think I really like that now. I do have shrink art paper. Oh look, that turned out really pretty. There's the front side of it. Can't see it. I need to put it on another piece of white paper. You see it? Look how pretty that came out. So yeah, this is graphics. Clear graphics paper, or, and I think I'm going to punch some holes through the top, string them up, and I think they'll be pretty in the window. They will glisten. Let's do the other ones. Big piece off so that I can show you on that piece. Let's do another one. Let's do these, close these up so they won't evaporate. Evaporate. I'm going to change my little felt thing out and put another little piece on. And this one, I want to do some, I like this wild plum. Wow, it's on there tight. I guess you're supposed to wipe them around the things when you use them. I want some of this wild plum, and I don't know what to mix with it. Um, don't think I want orange. Maybe butterscotch. a few drops and some alcohol blending solution just a couple of drops of that here we go guys here we go oh yeah Oh yes, I like that.
that'll put some color in your window. I think I need a little more, oops, of the butterscotch. This is not butterscotch. That is orange. And I want to do that kind of out on the outer edges, like the little balls. Just like that. See that? See how pretty that is? Let's dry it and then I'll turn it over on the other side. It's a good thing I put the lids on that because I just tipped them over. dry enough. It's kind of wobbly now. Cause you can you can form them if you'd like. See that? See how Josie, Josie was doing that with her plastic? Yeah, you can form them. Kind of cool. And if you don't like it, she said you just reheat it again. And it'll flatten back out. And you can form it again. And I don't get any, um, I don't get any fumes. So look what I just did. Yay for me. So look what I did. I just kind of bent it all around. That's kind of cool. Let's do the other one. Where'd I put it? Oh, here. Let's see. Let's do the back side of it. Heat it up. have to do it pretty fast because it it dries up. But look at that. Now instead of having just flat snowflakes, you've got heated up ones. How cool is that? And then it goes back hard. It melts back hard. So if you're like me and you don't save your packaging, which is free after you buy the thing, you can buy some graphics paper, clear graphics paper, and you can do all kinds of things with it, I see. All right, let's do another one. What color should we do this one? Um, let me change out my one 
one side sticks. These aren't sticking too good to my homemade. What these are is legs for a doll, a wooden doll. I got this idea from um, Gina Aarons. She made all of her round ones. Instead of buying the things, she made round ones. And I couldn't find my other ones, my handled ones today. When I wanted to do this project, I never can find nothing. Alright, I'm going to do orange and yellow. Or yellow and red makes orange, right? Some sunshine yellow. And then we'll do a little bit of red, just a little bit. Ugh. And I'm going to use some alcohol blending. And let's see what we get. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Maybe a little more. Red in it. Yeah, that looks good. Just a little more. It's getting hard to see them on this paper. Okay, let's dry it up. And see if we like the color before we start bending it. Oh, I like it. I wish I had some gold. But I don't have any gold or metallics in the alcohol inks. And that had a piece that wasn't poked out and a piece that wasn't poked out there or there. Let's see. All right, let's let's heat it up and bend it. Okay, there we go. I'm liking them. You could also put these on 
packages. You don't have to put them on your window. You could decorate a package with them. A gift card. Okay, last one. And this one I want to do in the... I want to do it in the eggplant. I don't know if I want, I think eggplant and uh, butterscotch. And I don't know if I'm going to use blending solution or not because I want to get it darker, a little bit darker. So I have eggplant on there. And butterscotch. Oh, and I dripped it right on me. I'm going to have butterscotch hand. Yay. Well, you know what? I know what takes it off. Uh, rubbing alcohol usually takes it, it off. I have a ring. I have a ring on my finger now. Okay, let's see what this turns out to be. Oh, yummo! Oh, I did it on the wrong paper. Shoot. Shoot me. Shoot me. Kind of got mud. I think I want some more eggplant. And then blend it out, maybe. Butterscotch must not have been the best thing to use with that. Kind of took it out. I'm not so sure I like it. It looks muddy mucky. How do you get it off? You rub it with rubbing alcohol and get it off. Is that how you do it? I have some spray alcohol here. And a little spray bottle. Move this paper. I'm just going to do it in the in the eggplant. That's 
what I'm going to do. Gonna get clean one of these. And just do eggplant on it. See what comes out of it. Maybe I don't need so much of that. Gotta see if I got it on the wrong side. Yeah. Maybe it's the eggplant that I don't like. I'm not really caring for that so much. Maybe I'll put some uh, out some wild plum on it. Let's see what happens. We can always take it off. I do love this wild plum. I know this is my favorite. Oh yeah. Just give it a little bit of highlights with this plum. I'm doing it on the right side. All right, I think that fixed it. Let me get the piece of paper. I think I fixed it. Gonna heat it up a little more and bend it a little more. Kinda doing it on its own. Thanks, Josie. Thanks for the idea. I'm glad I had this graphics paper. All right, let's put them all on here and show you what we've got. How about that? How about that? How cute is that? I am loving it. I just might be making these all day because I'm loving them. Look how cute they turned out. Okay guys, so if you want to make some, just go ahead and get you some packaging or some graphics paper, clear graphics paper that you have to take off the 
coating on it to make it clear and make you some snowflakes. Hopefully you have a die that will cut them out. I don't know if you could cut some out with an X-Acto knife. You might be able to do that uh, if you don't have a die. But anyway, this goes to show who who all has dies and um, want to use their snowflake die in a different way. I hope I have given you some ideas using the pop cans and the clear plastic. And I think I might. I know I have a shapers die, movers and shapers little um, snowflake die. I know I have one of those. And I might get that out and cut out some little bitty ones to go on packages or on gift cards. Alright, thanks for watching. If you like this movie or this video, give me a thumbs up and please share. And thanks for being subbies to me and thank you all the new subscribers that was it just makes my heart warm thank you all bye bye